Hello my friends on the internet. Today I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the code base of a real game file. And when I say real, it is the real deal. And from this game file, we was able to raise one million dollar from 10 different venture capitals. Hey, I am Kevin, and at Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developer transition into Web3. If you look into the folder structure, there are three main components, the game, the API, and smart contracts. The API seems straightforward with a couple of endpoints to access some kind of database. In this case, it is a SQLite database. You can actually connect to the database using a tool called SQLite Studio. Oops, and actually there is more. The API also interacts with smart contracts on the blockchain using Web3. This is a really simple gaming project with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's look into the code base and I'm quite sure you can get the name right. Yes, it is the Fluffy Bird game, one of the rare games that easily passed the 15 million downloads on App Store and Google Play. This is a typical file structure of an advanced hardhead project using TypeScript. There are two smart contracts. And it is really well tested with happy path and unhappy path. Now let's have a look at this project. You can see the amount of component in this GameFi project is a lot. API and front end is kind of the same, so I'm not going to talk about this. The gen metadata is the component that listen to the mint event from the NFT smart contract and then generate the metadata for the NFT accurately. These are a couple of front-end folders. We use Next.js, a framework to help rendering the UI from the back-end, which help optimizing SEO and mobile UI UX. The part that we are interested in the most is the smart contract. It is written in Solidity, and yes, there is a lot of smart contracts. Marketplaces, routers, staking, vesting, etc. I just pick up the interesting one and show you the logic here. Let's have a look at the auction smart contract where you can actually auction your NFTs. There is a struct to store all the data of an auction. The logic is the auctioner will call the create auction function and transfer the NFT to the smart contract, then everyone can join the auction. After the auction is ended, the owner of the NFT can call the finish auction function to finish the deal, or he can cancel the auction to get his NFT back and the contract will refund the bidder. And of course, there is a couple of getter functions. So what do you think about the code base? It is a little bit confusing, right? So please join me in my live training session with Julian where we will have more time to explain everything to you. You can register by the link in the description below.